Welcome everyone to our very first, very exciting Seaman D no wait, title? Stream and Demon. There we go. Sorry. Don't have to edit that one out. That one's on me. Your co-co-host, Jim Phoenix, along with Box. Say hi, Box. Jam Brannick. That one too. And Papa Shango, or Papa Murphy, depending on the racism. Say hi, Papa. Papa. Hi. Hi. Oh, I just scored it all over the place. Don't worry. It's just hand sanitizer. I won't do anything else with it. I promise. It's actually Wu-Tang. Today we're sponsored by Wu-Tang Protect Your Hands Hand Sanitizer. Oh, you got Not a really fancy good. one. Yeah, well, it actually is Wu-Tang's. They were selling it for Ottawa Food Bank. You buy a hand sanitizer, Ottawa Food Bank got food and money. How cool is that? Different. Yeah. It's different. <laughs> different is what we're doing today, too. Instead of our normal thing where we talk five hours about like movies that no one's ever seen, like Bully or some Japanese stuff I can't pronounce. Hech Haraku, Hech What? Uh, help me out, Evie. Well, we watched Sadako versus Kayako. That's, That's the one. what you're God talking about. You. Yeah. Sadako versus Kayako, stuff like that. No one else in the world watched. So now here's something brand new, sort of. Something new, something old, something borrowed, something blue. Sort of. Uh, we're still working that title out, but. Maybe down the of... line, we'll watch something blue. Yeah. Well, actually, I, I thought it was supposed to be porn. Evie kept me talking about porn all day long, but I digress. So you're going to go on a great journey. We have three people here. Each of us can take a different movie, brand new to streaming this week or brand new to video on demand this week, or just some shit Evie picked out because she did the metal uh, on the, yeah. But it's, it still works out because apparently we're now sponsored by Tubi or some shit, that, not really. I'm trying. So we're gonna take a little round robin tour of this and act like we're just a couple fans hanging out because that's what we are. And no spoilers. Any spoilers, yeah, we gotta edit. Yeah. <laughs> But we might swears. Okay, who wants to go first then? Yeah. Oh, Papa. Papa, can you hear Papa, me? please. Okay. Papa, don't preach. Papa, please tell us a story. So the movie I watched was called Lost Voyage. Lost Voyage? What movie service is that on? It's on Tubi. Oh, I mean, oh, gee whiz, that's great. Yeah. I was actually super surprised because I vaguely remember it. I think it used to come on sci-fi a lot, like original sci-fi that was S-C-I-F-I. Anywho, I was really surprised because it had Judd Nelson and Lance Hendrickson in it and a couple other actors who I don't know their names, but I recognize because they pop up a lot. And it was like, totally a sci-fi movie from <laughs> the early 2000s or whatever so and tell us all about it cool so a cruise ship gets lost in the bermuda triangle and 30 years later jed nelson is there to join lance hendrickson as a salvager person man lance hendrickson becomes a salvager in a hell of a lot of movies anyway to he's got that salvager face and that's actually his job, really. Oh. He doesn't even know he's in a hell of a lot of movies. This is like, why do these cameras keep following me around? What the fuck? <laughs> he just shows up on set. Oh, I swore first. Oh, well. And then they make a movie around him. Exactly. That makes sense, actually. And so they are helicoptered over to a ship in which they get out and start wandering and then die. A lot of them die. That's sad. We say no spoilers or a lot of spoilers? Well, she didn't say who. Yeah, I didn't say who. Just all of them. Well, it is a horror movie, so chances yeah. are, you know. She like, didn't say what was killing them either. Yeah. Starvation well, and boredom. No. There's only one thing that I will say about their deaths, though. I couldn't help but notice how every single one of them was brought on by their own stupidity. That's usually like typical 2000s, early 2000s fare. Yeah, but th this is like, th this is like common sense stupidity, not evil monster, ghost, demon, uh, earthworm stupidity or whatever. That's 
You just spoiled it. You just no. spoiled it. No, I did. Son of a bitch. I did not spoil it. I, okay. I, I I threw out a blanket to cover every single thing that could happen. Okay, but you didn't cover the thing that I was thinking of, which is aliens. Oh, I'm so glad you said aliens. Oh yeah, I was thinking aliens earlier because of Lance. But continue. I'll, I'll stick a else. So what? Re- I don't want to know. You know what? No, I don't want to know. You don't. You don't. I don't want to know. So do you? Did you like this movie? It's like a diet ghost ship. Okay. I think Ghost Ship came out later, so technically it's the ghost tab ship of Ghost Ships. Is the <laughs> That sounds about right. Yeah. Oh man. Is so, that the tagline? It's the tab of Ghost Ship. So you are watching this movie. It's the tab of Ghost Ship, which is I, I think I think is he the bartender still in that one? Yeah, whatever. And it's got Judd Nelson and some other people you don't know. And no one dies an entire film until this, you know, first act. Until the aliens. Okay, so Evie, like, so out of the five Cthulhu's, what do you think this would Cthulhu into? Like, two, probably, because there's a reason that even though I felt like it was familiar from old sci-fi, I didn't actually remember any of it, so. And you'll probably forget it again. Yeah, yeah. Except for a couple of performances that were just like these lines that were delivered that were very choice lines, which really deserve to be in a more memorable movie. Like Ghost Ship. <laughs> yeah, like Ghost Ship. As we're like banging on a Ghost Ship. I actually kind of like Ghost Ship, really. Everyone um, likes Ghost Ship. They all remember it, especially that opening the the weird one that yeah. skips the little girl somehow. somehow. Yes, yes. Anyway, it's, it's always a great you know testament to the movie we're talking about when we start talking about other movies instead. Exactly. <laughs> uh, so, all right, Jim, do you want to go next? Yeah, sure. Why not? All right. So next up, something brand new, but to Netflix, uh, Canadian Netflix, eh? So you Americans, sorry, not sure. It's called. Ghost of War. Wait, hold on, is it? <laughs> it's, called... it's called Ghost Ship of War. Oh, man. I'm glad we chose a theme. I know. Oh, it really is. It's called Ghost Ship of Gwar. Basically, oh. it was a ghost cruise that Gwar went on. And they just take no, it's Ghost Ship of War with that one dude from Sons of Anarchy. No, no, not that guy. The other guy. No, no, the one that was also in the other thing. Chips? No. No, no, Juice. Or Shades, depending if you saw him from Sons or Luke Cage. He's in it, and uh, uh, some other people? Man, Evie and I basically have the same memory for a cast and crew. I apologize to everyone who's in it. That's it, okay, I didn't write mine down either. You didn't write your cast and crew down? I wrote the director down. Oh, that's, that's, that's good. Because he's a cool guy, fun. but go on. <laughs> They're all cool guys. There is also not a little bit of spoiler, a small spoiler. Oh my god. Billy Zane's in it. Oh, yeah, I might Billy watch Zane. this now. I love Billy Zane. See, I know. I get this could be like, I love Billy Zane too. And I, I, I really do like Theo Rossi. If I said your name correctly, I'm so sorry. Wait, no, straight to reverse it. If I didn't say your name correctly, I'm so sorry. If I said it, cool, that's your name. But it is a World War II thriller, sort of. You know, it's like five American soldiers assigned to hold their French chateau near the end of the World War II. This unexpected respite quickly just descends into madness. They encounter a supernatural enemy more terrifying than anything we've seen on the battlefield. So it's 2020 release date. 2020, oh, Canadian Netflix. Oh, it's a Canadian show too. It is everything you always wanted in a monster in the house. It's sort of like a monster in the house, but not really. It's a monster in a house within a monster house wrapped up in a who done it. Are you sure it's not Overlord? No. Because this sounds like Overlord. Right. Well, that's what Netflix suggests afterwards. Like, you like this movie? Watch Overlord. And three other Nazi killing movies. One's a month. One Nazi movies on surf force or sharks. Oh, I don't know. They all had a die or something like that. They had no sharks in that movie, unfortunately. Oh, just surfing and Nazis and a there are, pig. 
<laughs> there's a wild pig in this movie probably i don't know i didn't really watch it no i, I watched it just right now but there's nazis in this movie and no spoilers it, it's a good ride the ending is well imagined so hats off to eric uh breasts for writing this or at least getting final credit on writing this and acting great acting perfect acting great score lighting everything was really well done i'm not sure the budget but it is probably the best world war ii movie i saw today today Hands down, today today well you should watch overlord and then tell me i have Okay, so how does it compare? Because I'm okay. intrigued. Why did you have to ask a fucking follow-up question? Sorry, I thought that's what we were doing. Why did you have to ask follow-up questions? You didn't ask any follow-up questions. Yes, how I did. Compared to like Tab Light. Yeah, we, she, we talked about Ghost Ship, so. We talked about Ghost Ship? Oh, I love Ghost Ship. You ever see the scene with the little okay, line? This is where we're. I missed that girl. Remember where I have to edit, so we're going to be. Cons- oh, very more verbose. How did, oh, do like Overlord? I saw Overlord in the theater, and I think Overlord is a tighter structure of, of a movie, of a, of, of a say, of the, this is how, so hard to do without giving it away. But I think this one is, it's scary. Ghost of War is scary because it's more believable. Okay. And this is a movie, at the end of the movie, I thought like, okay, because I'm seeing like, why would this, why would like Billy Zane sign up for this shit? Not, I'm not, you know, I always think, like, why would this actor or, you know, why would you sign up for this? Because he's a nice do? guy. He's right. A no. Guy. No, it's, it's a good movie. It's a good script. The script makes great sense. It's, it's w- well done. And it's one of those movies where you're done, you're like, I would have signed up for that, too. You know, I, I, I would have read this one and go, holy shit, this is a great script. Yeah, hell yeah. And it was phenomenally done. All right, so twelve out of fifteen Cthulhu's minus three plus a two four out of five Cthulhu's four out of five. That's that's pretty good. So I got to watch a cool movie that came out twelve eleven. So very, actually, we're recording it on that day. So it just came out, fresh and new on Google Play, called Parallel. Parallel what? Parking? Oh, I know it's a horror movie. Parallel parking? Christ, I can't do it. Nobody can. So it's by Isaac Esbon, and he God did. Who is it by? Isaac Esbon. God bless you. Oh, and it's spelled E Z B A N. He's a Mexican director. He oh. did a really great movie. Yes. Or prior. Yes. Um, called called uh, Los Perecidas. The yes. Similars. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. That's why I love that movie. Okay. So, and actually, if you go to our website, I did a review on it. And I honestly should go back and give it more stars, more the Cthulhu's, because the more I think about it, the more I like it. It's one of those movies that it's like, ugh. But anyway, so that's that movie. This is this movie. This is Parallel. So it's about four friends slash entrepreneurs that are developing an app. And they go to a company to say, this is our app. We'd like it to develop it for you. And they're like, great. You have this impossible timeline to do it. So the friends are like, oh, fuck, what are we going to do? They're going to go with this other guy. So they go, they get drunk and have fun, but they get home, they start kind of arguing, and they kind of destroy their rental house. But in destruction of the rental house is where they find the secret room. And in the secret room, they see like this... uh, Uh, like periscope that can see in all of the rooms of the house they find this old diary and they find this mysterious mirror that is bolted to the floor now this is where they find out that the mirror is actually a portal into other parallel dimensions dun 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 oh i was gonna go with sex mirror with what a sex mirror i thought it was a sex mirror oh it's not a sex mirror it's No, it's too old and too bolted to the floor. And, and too clean, I guess. Eh, it gets dirty later it gets, on. It gets dirty? Wow. Well, so, you, you know, what do you do with a parallel dimension? At first, they develop their app just to get that in there, of course. But then they become dicks to their parallel dimension selves. Like stealing their fucking money, running on their credit cards. And in all this kind of like chaos and calamity, one of them dies so then they have to cover that up bring another one from another dimension and he's all fucked up because things aren't adding up 
boom, it turns into this thriller. And suddenly it's kind of like mad scientist-y. I'm just kind of confused as to why they would be choose to be dicks to themselves. Money. Yeah, but but at the end of the day they're they're fucking over oh i'm sorry they're messing with themselves it's like well it's but in a like parallel this. dimension so Shooting it's themselves yourself in the foot in a parallel dimension in a di- parallel dimension parallel foot but and time moves differently there in parallel dimension world they and actually they have this really good huge science scene of why not why it works but how it works and I actually appreciated that because there's a lot of times where it's just like magic, uh, but they're like, okay, so if we go into here, we have to do this to do that, to get to here, you know, they kind of like play it all out. So probably another rewatch would be good to like put those pieces together a little bit more of how it works. Um, we never really get to know why it works, but it's, a really interesting story because at first when you're watching it it is a very studio produced film you can see like there are a lot of safe bets that are being made you know these friends are very in a way kind of formulaic you know but as the second act starts to begin you start to see the real characters and who they really are and it starts to develop more and bring you into it and becomes much more engaging and I kind of liked that because at first it's kind of like a popcorn flick but in reality it's more of like a slow burn thriller mad scientist-y kind of story and that's my that's my jam okay but how many roller gators would you give it i would give it i would give it four i would give it a solid roller gators because and here's another really good thing okay so i watch a fuck ton of movies and i'm not gonna apologize i'm just we all got one we all got one. We all got one. So I do. Tons of horror movies, tons of deaths. I see death all the time in horror movies. But there is one in here that is so awesome and disgusting and satisfying to watch that it literally, I was like, ho, 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 when I watched it. And so that also like gave me a little bit of emphasis and push and excitement because I don't usually feel that when I watch people die on screen. That's good. I'm kind of a monster in that way, I guess. So it was very satisfying to watch. And actually I tweeted the director to talk about it. And I told him that too. It was like, this was very satisfying. But the director is very cool. Like I said before, this he, he did not write this. This was a departure from uh, Mexico. This was in English. Um, oh, I was going to ask about that. Yeah. Yep. The actors did a phenomenal job just in bringing a lot of, again, because you're watching the first 15 minutes and it is very like, okay, I know where this is going. But they do bring like such a, I mean, there's so many different scenes where it's like, okay, I see why they did that before then. So it's hats off to that. It is um, more of a build, so give it patience, and I think that you will appreciate the payoff. So it, does, it sounds really interesting as a movie, and you said it's on Google Play? It is on Google Play. That's where I saw it at. I don't cool. know when and where it's going to be coming to other places, but it just came out, and I think it was like six bucks to rent. So I'm like, that's that's actually a pretty good deal. So get your loved ones. Six well, bucks. not your love, all your loved ones, but get the ones that are in your family. Get the little ones in there too. It's a Christmas flick. Come it's on, kids. Not. <laughs> I see the not, one that Brad not like Santa Joss. Yeah, oh. not like Santa Joss. Gosh, no, no, no. And check out more of his stuff. Uh, again, it's easy. B A N and Isaac, Isaac, Isaac to us, and he does a lot of just really good where he, he takes something that you think it's going to happen the way you think it's going to happen because of formulas and then he kind of twists it on his head he's really good at that no oh, he, he is and he's one of his very few movies that i will absolutely grind out the spanish to yeah meaning i won't use the uh the, the overdubs good like, never use it. those those are disgusting well, those are hilarious to watch because no. there's just this sense of wrongness while their mouths are moving uh, I grew up in Kung Fu flicks, man. Do not watch dub if you can get the actual language. There's just so much that you lose. I'm a snob about this. Like not understanding things? I know. You can Next f- up on dubs. You can read. You can read. Oh. That's assuming a lot. 
I have a faith in You're, you. Look who look who's uh, the fancy one here. Oh, look, my movies come with subtitles. I can read and stuff. Or my, you know how old I am? We didn't even have subtitles. We just had someone cranking out the damn thing. Well, you know what? Now they have subtitles. Now I guess we decide what it's a what a kung fu thing for all. We decide which one you should watch. I forget. No, the reader oh. decides, or the viewers decide, or the listener decides. Whatever you guys are doing today, decide. If you're reading this in subtitles, good job. <laughs> We're adding subtitles for a podcast. Not really. That probably exists still, but. It's just a informational service. Which one are we excited on? What are we going to do? Does anyone want to watch Ghost Ship Tab? Do you want to watch the Parallels? Do you want to watch Ghost of War? Let us know. Let us know what you thought of them. We thought, well, I guess, except for Evie. I guess Evie picked the one she hated the most. They're like, this is what? the new one. You should stay away from this one. Just stay away from this one. It's a horrible movie. Well, if you like Judd Nelson and... Go Lance like that, Hendrickson, no? like those two, you would think it would be a certain awesome movie. And it's not like the acting is bad. Like sometimes they ham, well, actually, it's like split. The, the ones, half the actors yep, are bad keep, and the main ones are fine. Just keep on trying to dig yourself out of that one. <laughs> Go watch these movies. Except ah. for that one. Don't watch that one. Well, watch it drunk. Yeah, you know it's a type you do? can watch with friends. No, I, I'm not thinking anyone's advice anymore on what movie I can watch with friends though, because like <laughs> I'm over two on dates now because of Roller Gator. So because you both. don't listen to me, you never watch that on a date. That is a secret that you hide from everyone you love. Thanks for sharing it. It's like the ring. It Best is. Best movies kill more things than the ring for me. You know that. We hope that you come and listen to us again next time when we talk about something old, something new, something borrowed, maybe something blue. On streaming demons. Not to be confused with the other thing that I said before. Steaming? Completely different. Uh, yeah. Semen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Completely different podcast. Completely different. Scheming? Scheming. I, I can keep rhyming. <laughs> like, somebody's oh, got to shut me off. You are from that place that rhymes a lot. US? <laughs> Now, Ryan, come on.